hello guys how are you doing welcome to vlogmas day four let's make some deep fried beef the ingredients are of course beef we have garlic we have ginger and we have an onion for garlic we are going to use only one clove of garlic a little bit of ginger just like shown on camera and without any further ado let's get to cooking after i've washed my meat make sure you wash your meat i'm going to cut in onions garlic and some ginger then i'm going to put in some water and salt you can add any spices that you normally use at this stage you can add pepper you can add cumin you can add rico cube at this stage because you want the meat to boil with all these things so that it can have that taste so the meat is now done i'm going to set that broth aside in case i decide to add soup to my meat i'm going to use this broth whether it's today or tomorrow so we're going to set it aside as i said and start deep frying it and please do remember to cut your meat into big chunks because if you cut them into small mini chunks rather and deep fry them they are going to shrink they are going to be so hard that you'll not be able to even chew them please cut them into bigger chunks so that when you deep fry them they remain to be a sizable size do i make sense okay let's get to deep frying Please, when you're deep frying your meat, make sure you remove them immediately they are chocolate brown. I repeat, immediately they are chocolate brown, not when they are burnt black. I repeat, chocolate, chocolate brown, not burnt black. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Just like that, our meat is done. Look at how delicious, delicious it looks. You can serve this with kachumbari and ugali. In my case, I served it with just tomatoes because I don't like onions like that. And then you can also serve it with soup on the side so that it's not a dry, dry meal. You remember that broth, that meat, meat broth that we left? You can use that to make some soup so that you can have it with kachumbari ugali and some veggies some takeaway stroke things you need to know before making this deep fried beef is that once you've cooked it if you're not going to eat it make sure you put it in a foil so that you keep it moist when you're deep frying it make sure you remove it immediately it is chocolate brown or or else it's going to be so hard you're not going to be able to chew it okay Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let me see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. Bye-bye.